Pit Stop 2019, which is due to be released in April 2019, will have a PDF object browser on board. If you've already seen the first video about Pit Stop 2019, then you will have seen the powerful new feature, Rasterize Selection. This feature, like many of the analysis and editing tools within Pit Stop, first requires you to select the elements in the PDF that you want to work with. Then once you have them selected, you can analyze and edit them as you wish. However, due to the nature of PDF, the task of selecting the required objects is not always easy. A PDF file is typically made up of many objects that are stacked on top of each other and interact through methods like overprint, masking, clipping, and transparency blending. In many cases, it is difficult to select objects that are not at the top of the object stack because they can be partially or even completely obscured by other objects. Selecting multiple objects in different positions in the object stack also tends to be even more difficult. This became very apparent when we were developing the Rasterize Selection tool. We were trying to select specific elements in the PDF to rasterize them, and were having to apply all sorts of tricks, such as allocating elements to layers, hiding elements, and using the wireframe view. These approaches worked sometimes, sometimes they didn't, but all of them were very time intensive and difficult. We thought, there has to be a better way. So we came up with the new tool called the Object Browser. We think this is going to radically speed up the way you work in Pit Stop. It's an approach that may be familiar to you from some other applications. So here is a relatively complicated PDF file. If we look in wireframe mode, it's made up of mostly vector shapes. It's been created in Adobe InDesign, but the map information has probably been imported from a vector application like Adobe Illustrator. If I zoom in a little, you can see that the map has many little green trees. Unfortunately, I've been asked to change the color of those trees, and there are many on the page. That would have been quite a challenge before, but now it's quite easy. So here's the new object browser, and you can see it's a list of all the elements in the object stack. The bottom object in the stack is the first in the browser. So if I select and delete it, you can see the green background disappears. I'll now undo that, but you can see that the object browser refreshed to the new state of the stack. If I right click on the object stack, you'll see I can expand or collapse the tree view of the object browser, and I have several other options, including the size of the thumbnails. If I click on an object in the object browser, it's selected in the PDF, which means I can use all the normal pit stop tools like inspector, global changes, and action lists on that selection. Likewise, if I select an object in the PDF and the object browser is open, it will show that selection. In the object browser, I can also use Shift-Click and other control keys to make multiple selections. However, that is often not necessary as I can select clipped objects and all the objects inside that clip will be selected. Now to select and edit those trees. So you can see the first tree is selected. Now I need the rest, so I hold down the Shift key and then move down the object browser to select the last tree, and then all are selected. Having made my selection, I can now just bring up the inspector as I normally would and make my color correction to the trees. I just adjust the color values and my correction is done. I could of course make many other types of edits, including overprint, transparency settings, or converting to a spot color or even converting the trees to images using the other new functionality in Pitstop 2019.